In this video, we're going to show you how to back up your photos on the Active Connect G and the Active Connect OPS G. You're going to need two apps for this. They will be Google Photos and Google Drive. If you don't have those already, you'll need to go over to the Google Play Store, search for Google Photos and Google Drive, and then install them. Now, I've already added them to my ring of apps here and have access to them. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on Google Photos. Once Google Photos opens up, it's going to basically give me a couple of permission screens that I need to go through. Do we want to allow access? We're going to need to do that. So we click allow and then a new menu will pop up and basically just checking, make sure all my settings are correct. So do we want to upload this size over Wi-Fi only? That's really on our options here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm. Okay. And then you're going to notice in the bottom left-hand corner that there's an assistant and it's showing me that I have four little notifications there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the next thing we need to do is set up to back up all of our device folders that would have some type of photo in it. So we're going to click there. And then I'm going to go and turn on each one of these devices. Go back. And we're pretty much done there. So let's click on the Photos app. And these are all of the photos that are going to need to be backed up. And you'll notice in the top right hand corner, it's showing 13 need to be. And if I pull down, it's saying that it's getting ready to back up 13 photos or 13 left to, to back up there. So it's starting to do that. Now, while it's doing that, we need to go over and get Google Drive set up as well. So I'm going to click on Google Drive. Once Google Drive opens, we're going to go over and find the settings, which is the three bars in the top left hand corner drop down, scroll up, and look for settings. Now, once we're here, we need to check the auto add Google Photos into my drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And what this does is it just makes us a Google Photos folder in my drive for easy access. I wanna bounce that back out. We'll refresh our screen here and hopefully it'll show up in just a couple of seconds. It may take it a, a minute or two to sync um, depending on what all is going on in there. And after a quick refresh, we can see that Google Photos has now appeared. If I tap on Google Photos, notice I've got a folder now for 2018, and I'm already starting to see some of those images come in. And the more I refresh, then the more that it's going to continue to work. Now let's go back over to Google Photos and just check on our progress. We can see that it's backing up with basically one photo left. So that means if I go back to drive and we refresh there, hopefully this folder will begin to populate as well. So now my photos are backed up in Google Drive.